there's bits and pieces still there, and but you do see the losses. In just three short years, early onset Alzheimer's has stolen Amy Norton's memory, speech, and ability to care for herself. But her family has learned to live in the moment. She is in fact in the moment every moment because she doesn't have a, a recognition of the past and doesn't think to the future, it's in the moment. Um, so you, when you can finally relax and sort of accept that, um, you live in the moment with them and you can find those moments of, uh, of joy. Amy is at home with the help of her family and loving caregivers. Her husband Brian doesn't know if she knows him, but he does know she trusts him to feed her, dress her, and even steal an occasional hug. Occasionally I can still put my arm around her and, and give her a hug. Brian says she no longer knows her children, but to them she will always be mom. Every day the family hopes for a miracle to slow the progression of the disease, knowing it won't help Amy, but could help someone else. That's why Brian has shared his wife's story. For me, we have to accept what it is and just take one day, do what we can do to raise awareness. They may never know why at age 43 this disease struck a healthy woman with no family history. There um, could be some environmental factors and other reasons why people could be potentially getting the disease at a younger age. The Alzheimer's Association says awareness raised by families like Brian and Amy Norton and Pat Summit puts a face on this disease and helps raise money for research that could lead to better treatments and even a cure. We're waiting because we want to celebrate that day. We really look to the Norton family, Brian and his wife Amy and their children, and they are the reason we get up every single morning. Ready? Yeah. Hey. No, 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 no. It's okay, you got it.